Welcome to Virtual Kicking Pro Film Session. Today, who we're going to look at is Mason Crosby. Mason Crosby is somebody that I grew up watching and trying to mimic as much as possible his technique. He does an incredible job of staying consistent with his swing. So let's jump right in and see what makes Mason Crosby so talented. So I pulled up a few warm-up clips of Mason Crosby, and we're going to look exactly how and why Mason is so successful at the highest level every year for 14 years. We're gonna look at the film right here on the left to start. So a couple of things that I notice with Mason when he's getting ready, all right? The first thing is he's not stiff at all. He looks relaxed, he's not stiff at all. He looks relaxed. You can see his hand moving right here on the right side. He's very relaxed, all right? There's no tension. And then when that ball comes, he's going. So one, may, one thing that makes him special is that even in pressure kicks, he's nice and relaxed and stays within his routine. Secondly, his plant foot is pointed at where his plant foot to be. It's not pointed off to the left. It's not pointed off to the right. It's exactly keeping him on line for his approach to the ball. Next, I also like his body position. Notice how long he is from the back of his kicking heel to his head. He's nice and tall, leaning forward. He's not hunched over. He's not sitting up. He's a nice athletic position going at the ball. So the other thing that Mason does that sets him apart is he has such tremendous power. He has such tremendous power. And so a couple of things allows him to do that. One is how big this backswing is. Notice how high he gets this backswing up. The higher you can get this foot, the more torque, the more power you're going to generate to come through. And he does an awesome job of getting that backswing as high as possible with the toe still pointed. Secondly, is notice where his plant foot is, all right, in relationship to the ball. It's in front of the ball. I would say that most people kicking off the ground will stay about their heel even with the ball. If the ball is right here on the back of that yard line, his heel is in front of it. So he has such tremendous leg speed that he can plant further up and come down on that ball. Next thing to notice is how tall he stays as well. This is his theme for the kickers we've seen so far. Look for that, that off shoulder to the kicking leg. Notice how long and tall they are staying. They're not crunching down here. A lot of younger guys will crunch down or do their head and bring their head down. Shoulders come down and they'll crunch. Not Mason. He's up nice and tall, allowing his swing to come through. So the second thing that Mason does is he has a slight skip down the field and slides off to the left. And he doesn't have this high extended you know, picture perfect follow through. He's 14 years in the NFL. He has already mastered his craft of his technique and knows exactly what works for him to be successful. So notice his follow through gets about waist high. So you can see where that foot is coming up right there to that line. But the big key is that follow through stays in line till that ball is gone. So the ball is here. That follow through is still on the line of where he wants that ball to go. It's on, it's put on the line. It's going to finish on the line. Let me zoom out and let's see where that ball goes. So no, it's a very high ball, probably higher than the NFL uprights. So that's one thing that a lot of coaches are judging and looking for is how high you hit the ball, how straight you hit the ball, how far. That's one of those measurables that they look at later on. Next, at a little bit further field goal. And we're going to look at similarities. So just like I said before, notice he's nice and relaxed. Look at this arm moving again. All right, nice and relaxed. All right, nothing tense at all. This plant foot is still pointed at where he wants to end up. So if you notice... Would you consider Mason to have a jab step? 
Would you consider this a jab step? It looks like it might almost be coming off the ground, but it looks like he wants to keep it in there. He's just driving this knee forward slightly to then he can put force in the ground on his toe that's going to project him forward down the field. So it's just a start. So I would say this is a two-step kicker, and this is what makes him more successful is the more steps you take, the more likely you're going to have momentum issues as you take your steps, and you're going to miss that same plant foot spot each time. Now, let's look at where he gets. Now, let's look at where his plant foot is on this one. So this is the same exact way. Let's first zoom in on head position, right? Same exact head position. Awesome. Secondly, notice the shoulders, right? The chest is facing the ball. The chest is facing the ball. Very clean. Now notice the line. Notice these straight lines. This is what makes an NFL kicker NFL caliber kicker is because they're doing the same technique every time and being successful at it. Obviously, you're being inconsistent with your kicks, but you're doing the same thing every time. You have to make adjustments. But once you get the right technique, it's about mimicking that same exact technique as muscle memory every single time. Mason doesn't have to sit here and tell himself to keep his eyes down or to stay tall. His body knows it. It's been trained. So now, one last thing I want you to think about is notice on his follow through here. Now I want to look at the shoulders. Notice this front shoulder is pointed at where his spot is that he originally picked out. He's really turning his chest to that holder so that his follow through stays straight down the field. So if your shoulder isn't pointed at where you want the ball to go and you let this front shoulder open up, then this follow through is going to open up and the hips are going to open up. Everything's going to open up and you're probably going to miss over here somewhere. So it's really important to control these shoulders, just like Mason has done an incredible job showing you right here. Now notice, he's not trying to get downfield. He's not explosive as some of the other kickers. He's been in the league for 14 years. He knows how to make kicks consistently over time. Let's look at the height of the balls. Awesome job. Let's go ahead and look at some further kicks. So what I have here is a 60-yard field goal and then a shorter yard field goal on the right side. What I want to do is compare the two from two different angles. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the shorter field goal right here on the right. I just want to look at that contact and that follow through. So notice how long and tall he is staying through the swing. Excellent job. His eyes stay down. That follow through is staying straight. Now what I want to do is now look from the front view of a 60 yard field goal. Let's see if anything changes. Man, look how high his foot is getting on this backswing. The higher that foot gets, the more power you're going to have through contact. And then notice, look at these shoulders. Notice how the shoulders are closing. The chest is facing the holder. And then he forces this front shoulder to stay closed and to be pointed at where he wants that ball to go in the middle of the uprights. Now let's look at that follow through. Straight leg, a pointed toe, really trying to stay strong and long on the plant foot. Two important pieces as well. So you can see the similarities between the body position here and the body position here. Really clean, really nice job. That's a big piece that I really want you all to take home is that even when you're hitting longer field goals, you really got to make sure that your follow through, your lockout stays straight down the line that you want it to go because you're going to swing harder and most kids are going to lose power and technique. You want to stay straight through to your target with the power you're trying to generate on the longer field goals. So here are some things you could take away from what Mason Crosby does. The first thing is he's nice and relaxed in his stance. He's not too stiff and tight, nice and relaxed. Secondly is he doesn't have a jab step. He's just pushing down on his toe of his front foot that's propelling him to the ball. Third is his body position before contact. He has a nice high backswing with a nice tall chest coming through the ball 
that that's going to allow you to elevate your ball higher and straighter more consistently.